So just an FYI, I'm a total noob. So this is my first time ever taking a processor out and putting a new one in. Yo, welcome to the channel. I'm Cody Yanomi, and today I'm going to be upgrading the CPU to my HP Compact Pro 6300, which is a small form factor PC that I use for live streaming on Twitch or TikTok. So I'll be upgrading from an i5-3470 to an i7-3770. Alright, let's get into it. Alright, first things first, we gotta take off our side panel. Next, we have to lift up our optical drive just a bit. That should do it. And then unhook our SATA and power cable, everything that is in this fan trough, and move it over to the side. Next, the fan shroud should just slide out, like so. Since we have a 1050 Ti installed in here, we're also going to have to unhook that as well. So she should just slide out like so, put her off to the side, and now we have access to our CPU cooler. So, we'll grab our screwdriver set. Now you could use a flathead or a T15 bit. If you don't have a T15, you can use a flathead. The reason why I'm wearing gloves is so I don't make a mess on my hands, obviously, from the thermal paste or thermal compound. Speaking of thermal compound or thermal paste, we got some Arctic MX4 for today. And now we get to uninstall it. Hmm. So now we're going to unhook all these screws. So just an FYI, I'm a total noob. So this is my first time ever taking a processor out and putting a new one in.
there's the old thermal compound on the cooler and the old thermal compound on the old processor the i5 3470 so we need to wipe off that old thermal compound Ooh. It's really stuck on there. It's a good thing we're putting a new one in. That's why I wanted to wear gloves. Okay, so now all we need to do is push this back like so bring this up and pick it up like this there's the old one i5 34 70 which we will be upgrading to our i7-3770. But first, before we do that, we have to clean off the CPU cooler and apply new thermal paste to the processor once we install it. So we got some 70% rubbing alcohol for this specific install, so that way we can clean it up even more. You can get it at like grocery store or whatever. Just want to make sure she's nice and clean. And if you see any dust on it, you know, blow it off. Okay, so you see how this has a sprayer? We're actually just gonna take that off. I'm just gonna put a little bit on the paper towel itself. Just cleans it up nice. See what I mean? There's still some on there. I'll do the other side, just give it a quick dry. Alright, now we open up our new processor i770 3770 and then we put it in just the same way we took it out so see how there's like a dot there there's a dot there there's a corner there we want it to go in just like that straight in like that in nice and straight don't put any pressure on it until okay everything seems to be perfect now we pop this back down That should be good.
Next, we open up our thermal paste. And for this specific video, this thermal paste comes with a little spatula. So I'm gonna be using this. I'm not gonna do the one bead because I want it. I want to make sure it spreads evenly because this is my very first time doing this. So we're gonna spread it evenly on the CPU. So here, I'll zoom it in for you guys so you guys can get a better look at it. There you go. So we're gonna use this little spatula and spread it on. So like I said, this is my first time doing this. I wanna make sure it's done relatively right. A lot of people will probably be like, hey, hey, he did that. But like I said, I'm a total noob. So. The first for everything. I kind of wish this was more bendy. There we go. Sorry if you guys hear some yelling upstairs. That's my son. He's playing Fortnite or something. Cat this back up. Put it back in the box. Same with the spatula. And then we need to put the CPU cooler back inside. So the way you have to put it is this way. See this thing? See, because it's got that little hole there. So it has to go like that. If you put it this way, it's not going to work, obviously, because you got that little lip right there. So it needs to go like that. So we line her back up. We got a screwdriver. And then we're going to slowly tighten it like boom, 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 boom kind of evenly. Make sure she's nice and tight. And then we just keep going around.
Okay. Now we could put fan trowel back in. Great, how it fits in there nicely. Then we can bring the latch back. Put these cords back in. Okay, so the latch is back. We put all the cords back in. I already put the graphics card back in. Now all I gotta do is push this down and she's done. Now all I need to do is put the lid back on and she's good to go. There we go. All right, so we got her all installed and ready to go. I want to thank everyone for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you know when I upload another video. Also, if you want to catch one of my lives, we go live Monday, Wednesday, Fridays on TikTok and weekends on Twitch. All at 7 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. Thanks again for watching and have a great day. Peace. Keep